What's up guys, Saha Man back with another horror figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at Amok Times Day of the Dead, George Romero's Day of the Dead Dr. Tong figure. I reviewed this figure several years ago, it was like four, four years ago I think and then I ended up selling them off and um, when Corner Store Comics was closing their store and they're having that sale I got this for such a cheap price. Um, if you guys have never seen Day of the Dead Go watch George Romero's Dead series movies. Uh, the first three were the best, which was Night of the Living Dead. If you guys don't know Night of the Living Dead, you guys don't know, what are you even watching zombie movies for? Just joking. Um, Night of the Living Dead was a great zombie flick. Day of the, I'm sorry, Dawn of the Dead, which was remade by um, Zack Snyder in the, in the early 2000s, I think it was, was another great movie. The original one, and I like the remake, was pretty good too. And there's Day of the Dead, the third one from the Dead series. Uh, there is a couple more after that. Which were okay, but um, Day of the Dead had this opening scene or the intro, which was so good. I loved it. I think it's one of the, my favorite scenes um, from the first three out of the first three movies. Like they're, they're I don't want to give any spoilers away, but definitely check out Day of the Dead. This guy makes a um, a quick uh, uh, he makes a quick like little. I don't, want to, I don't want to say cameo, but he's in the movie for like a, a few seconds when the title Day of the Dead comes out. He's um, the first zombie you see in the movie and he's just, they call him Dr. Tongue. I think Tom Savini was the one who um, named him Dr. Or, yeah, Dr. Tongue. Greg Nicotero, the special effects who's, who's working on and directs some of the episodes in The Walking Dead was in this movie. Um, cause he also was part of the special effects team, I think with Tom Savini back in the eighties, maybe seventies, I could be wrong, but, uh, it's probably eighties, but, um, yeah, guys, if you guys haven't seen any of George Romero's movies from the dead series, uh, night of the living dead, dawn of the dead and day of the dead, definitely go ahead and recommend, I recommend you guys check those flicks out, especially if you're zombie fans. All right guys. So anyways, so this is day of the dead packaging right here. It's got the big clamshell packaging. You have an image of Dr. Tung right there. It says a mock time. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. There you go. And it says Monstar right there. Right there on the back. I did review Bub as well several years ago. I still have them. If you guys want to see another review of me doing like a re-review -re on the figure, let me know because these figures I reviewed, you can watch them back. I think they were back in 2012. I recorded them with my iPhone. So the review the review was a lot different. You know, my whole setup was a lot different, you know, a few years back. But that's packaging on this guy here. Enough rambling on. Let's go ahead and open this guy up because I'm really, uh, it's been a while since I've had this figure. So I'm really anxious to see what he looks like out of the package. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Tongue does come with a display base, which you're gonna want to display him on because he, I mean, you can probably get him to stand on his own like that, but a slight movement's probably gonna tip him to fall, but he will stand on his own. But it's better if you have him with the base. But he does come with this base right here, which is part of the street in the opening scene, and you have the um, manhole right there, and it does read sewer. Have this upside down. And it has two pegs, two very large pegs right there where you can place the figure on. And you can see the, the concrete and everything on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if some of this is supposed to be bones because in the movie there is uh, a lot of bones right there. I just, this camera just went out of focus. So I don't know if um, there's supposed to be bones on here. Like, Cause in the movie, you do see some kind of skeletons on there and a lot of trash on the floor. So I don't know if that's what that is. Like over here, this kind of looks like it could be bones or could be trash or twigs or something, but you do get part of this street right here, which has got some good paint applications, good sculpting on it. There's the bottom right there. So this is pretty nice You get part of the street. So here we have Dr. Tongue. Now the reason why they call him Dr. T Whoa! The reason why they call him Dr. Tongue, so you can tell you the figure doesn't stand well on his own, is because the guy has no lower jaw. He's missing the lower jaw. You can see that right there, and his tongue is just dangling out. He's got this huge tongue right there. And I love the paint applications on there. He uses like the darker, like he was black with like dark red, and then you can see the um the teeth and the upper upper mouth. He's missing his lips, missing his nose. 
can see the eyes there. He he looks just like he he does in the movie as well. You can see part of his jaws hanging right there, and there's a tooth right there. Very nice, very very good um, detail on him. Looks great on this figure, and he's kind of like decaying as well. Here's a side shot on this side of the head. You have the ear, and then you have um, the hair. So it looks like he could have been an older guy because he's got some gray hairs, and it looks like he's kind of balding. But I think the zombies have already been alive for, or been already going on for quite a while on this uh, third movie. You have the outfit right here, which is all sculpted. I don't think any of it's like a soft rubber, really. The bottom part seems to be. But um, you have the, the, his little coat right here. There's a lot of blood throughout it. A little bit of detailing, sculpting. The wrinkles look great. You can see the buttons. Got a little vest underneath. You have his hand right here, which is pretty cool because you can see... Um, some of the flesh right there, so he's missing some skin, so you can see some flesh under there. It looks really, really nice. And then the fingers, they look like they're decaying. And uh, the inside of the hand as well, you can see it's kind of like just rotting away. He's very dirty on this hand. Also on the left hand, you can see he's missing some, uh, some skin. You can see the flesh, the dirty nails. He's got blood all over his hand. And then there's an inside look of that. The palm area, here's some more looks at the jacket or the coat looks a little worn as well and then you have the bottom part which is just the pants nothing too special about it um, the figure is pre-posed so there's no articulation in the lower feet kind of reminds me of like the older NECA figures and you can see the different paint applications they use at the bottom Looks like a little dirty, and then the, the shoes as well. He's got some like dress shoes on. You can see the laces. Also, they are a little bit worn because this guy's obviously been walking for who knows how long. And at the bottom right there, he does have peg holes at the feet. So in the way of Dr. Tung's articulation, it's gonna be very, very limited. The um, arms do go forward and back. He's got a swivel in the upper arm, or like the mid arm, kind of like in the elbow area and the hands rotate. And he's got rotation at the waist. The feet, the legs, everything below the waist, he is pre-posed, so you cannot get him in any other um, poses. The head also, I forgot to mention that. The head rotates in the upper part. The lower part is does not move. It's just this part right here. So the part where his head's cut off, so see if you turn his head right here, you can see more of the inside of his mouth. And the tongue, goes with the um, the head as well. You can see the tongue is a softer rubber material, so it's pretty nice. If you go this way, it kind of bends with that tooth. So that's really cool, but he's got upper head rotation, not really any, um, the head doesn't really go up or down or anything.